Hello guys, I usually would film an overhead video to show you guys this using pen and paper, but I'm running a bit behind. So we are doing a screen recording of October's mid-month budget so you guys could see how well or how poorly I'm doing this month. And trust me, I'm sure I'm doing pretty darn poorly, if I must say so myself. So we are going to start just at the top because on here it's a bit different to how I do it on the paper. So we are going to see where we are with the budget. I'm not gonna click in to the categories because I will show you guys the breakdown when I close out October's monthly budget. So for now, you're just gonna see me sort of scrolling through slowly, talking you guys through what I've done. I might click in on a couple of them depending on how I feel, if I want you guys all up in my business. But once again, I've had to rob Peter to pay Paul, literally, like seriously guys. Savings account depleted, pray for me. Pray that I see some light at the end of the tunnel because your girl, I've been struggling in the financial streets because listen, I told you guys in September's budget closeout that I've been going through a season of etaholism, okay? Say it with me, etaholism. You know how some people have alcoholism? I've been going through etaholism where I've somehow extensively acquired a very expensive palette. You know, I feel like I'm eating like the queen, but on a peasant's salary. No offense to anyone. I'm referring to myself here, darling. You have to speak your truth, live your truth, be your truth, breathe it, embrace it, acknowledge it, live it. Okay. All right, with all of that said, if you're new here, hello and welcome, darling. <laughs> Buckle up, because this one's going to make you want to drink, okay? And if you're returning, hey guys, what's up? I'm Gracia, I'm a single mom of one, and on this channel, you'll find all things budget-related, okay? <laughs> so if you want to know how to manage your finances on a low income, or even if you're in the middle, this is the channel for you. So make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, Subscribe because I'm guaranteeing you that you are going to love what we do over here, okay? We don't use fake numbers. We keep it 130% real. Authenticity at its best, darlings. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you do? Okay, cool. All right. Do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me. I hope you enjoyed my little renaissance of a intro, okay? So now we're going to get through it. So we've got our total expenditure here and it's saying we've spent £2,049.89. pence. Like guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not rich. Listen, I told you I've depleted my savings account. I've depleted my cashback rewards. I've just been living like... I'm rich, but I'm not. But I'm rich in the spirit, okay? And you know what? Actually, let's take that back. I'm practicing for when I become rich, okay? Nothing's wrong. I might want to eat out here and there. I might want to have a, a, a meal that costs 10 quid. Can you judge me? No. No. Anywho, let's get through the video. So we've got our billing account. We have budgeted £276.17. pence. We've so far spent £240.58. We're doing bloody good. Clothing, we budgeted 26 and that is what we spent. Costco, we budgeted 150 and we spent 150 there. Credit card, the pain in my buttocks. We budgeted 233.96 and that is what we paid. Listen, um, if you've got a rich uncle and he's looking for a fine, fine girl, huh? That's a bit tapped, that's a bit, you know, unhinged sometimes, a bit loud, very funny, can cook, you know, and very domesticated. Send him my way because I need a sugar daddy. 
to come pay my bills. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. Judge yourself. Let us scroll along. So our debt, we've budgeted 220. So far, we've spent 141 pounds, nine pence. Remember guys, this is the mid-month budget check-in. So we will come back with the final numbers at the end of the month. Eating out. <laughs> We spent 14 pounds and 14 P. We did not plan any budget as it says there, but we spent 14, 14, okay? Don't know what I was eating, but I was eating something and I bet you it was damn good. All right, scrolling down to groceries, our budget was 69.82, but somehow we spent 73.98 because food is life. As they say, let your living waters flow over my soul if you like my singing my debut album will come out eventually guys okay i'm, I'm making humor because i'm you know it's a sad thing so i have to make jokes out of myself right home insurance we've sort of nailed that because we've put the home insurance under the sinking funds so we were over budget by four pounds 16 pence for the groceries as you could see scrolling down household items we planned 20 pounds. Why is it that I spent 46.88? What was I buying? Oh, the cost of living is so expensive. Let's click in to have a bit of a nose there. Oh, I did buy some personal care stuff. So you see, I bought toothbrush, pads, toothpaste, body wash, hand soap, etc. And then in Aldi, I bought freezer bags bin liners, dish and sponge and baby wipes. Okay, so, you know, you gotta stay squeaky clean, okay? So you need what you need, all right? So that's what we spent there. For Kayland, we budgeted 40 pounds. We've spent 37.54. So we have two pounds, 46 pence in credit there, which is good because in September's budget, he was pretty much over by a similar amount. This category needs to be um, removed completely. I'm not going to click into this category because I feel like my deepest, darkest secrets will be exposed. But miscellaneous unbudgeted. Guys, I emptied out my rewards. All of my cash back from my rewards. I emptied out other savings accounts. Literally, I'm not even lying. I, I'll keep it real, okay? I emptied those accounts out because I just wanted to live a bit. I budgeted £60. Pounds. But tell me why I spent £290. Though. I'm not going to open it because I feel like it's toxic and negative to open it. We're just going to look at it from the outside. We don't need to know what's going on on the inside. Because as much as I feel this in myself, I don't have any recollection of what I've spent. Um, a whole £230.95 pence on. But you know what? Let's keep it moving. All right. And you see how this app is cheeky? It says that I'm 484.92% over my budget. Flip sakes. Anyway, let's keep going. Let us keep going. Rent, we paid in full. So that's good. Savings, fully funded, but um, somewhat depleted. <laughs> Anywho, let's move along. School fees, we budgeted £31. We've spent £28. So we've got three pounds remaining. That three pound will be probably rolled over to November's budget. But then we're still in October. So um, hey ho, that should be fine there. Sinking funds, we budgeted 135 and that's what we spent. We're going to pop this open so you guys could see my breakdown. So you could see the money I budgeted for the home insurance, which was a bit of a rip off. I have to thank my subscribers dearly who told me that I was paying above and beyond for home insurance because I never had home insurance before and I'm in a flat. So I'm only paying for the contents of what's in the flat opposed to, you know, the brick and mortar of, is it brick and mortar? Brick and mortar, mortar of the building. So these are all of my breakdowns here for my cash envelope. Okay. And all my sinking funds, sorry. And then subscriptions, we budgeted $32.98. We came in at $32.98. Transportation, we budgeted £100 because 
I think the original budget was 80, but my sister gave me 20 pounds, so I added that on. So it's a total of 100 pounds. And we came in at 99.99. We've got one P remaining, and self care, we didn't put anything. So this, guys, concludes October's mid month budget check in. It's a bit different to what I usually do, but it's getting the information out there that matters so this is what we're doing i'm just scrolling up so you guys could sort of take it in i'm so ashamed of myself with this miscellaneous category i don't want to look in it because i feel like i know i bought vitamins again which was almost like 40 quid i mean like oh god i bought vitamins for my son and i and i know that was a bit pricey but i have no recollection of the other things i know there's a lot of eating out in here as well because i did go out and i paid 35 quid for a meal all right and it was good but the other things i don't remember honestly i don't and i don't want to click into it because i don't want to have nightmares of my uncontrolling impulsive spending okay we struggle we all struggle and sometimes my struggle is living like a queen on a peasant salary okay and that's just what it is okay am i aiming to do better i am and one day I will get there, but just not this month. I'm so sorry. But anywho, guys, this concludes it. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up, okay? Subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Comment below and let me know if you guys spend as wildly as I do. Do you do you find yourself going through this cycle when you're very much um, consistent and content? And then you go to the extreme end where you just spend like a crazy koala, that's me. But you know what? Hey ho. That's it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Wanna shake that